Hey folks, it is Spencer here with Spencer's Botanical Spotlight here to shine the spotlight on all those dark crevices of the Kratom community. Today I am going to be reviewing Gulf Coast Kratom's White Mang Da. Gulf Coast is a vendor headquartered out in Texas. Um, very good stuff. I was very surprised by this. Um, they're a small batch vendor and they were nice enough to send me multiple different uh, Kratom Strange, and ignore the Call of Duty in the background. <laughs> I'm just updating it right now. But anyways, they were nice enough to send me some samples, but their White Mang Da is by far my favorite one. They also sent Red Mang Da, um, I think Green Borneo, and um, a Green Mang Da, oh, Super Green. Uh, so they sent me a few of them, uh, but by far the white mang is my favorite. And you can see in the back, you can see the powder. The powder is very good. Um, good consistency to it. I've started to, God help me, but I've started to actually mix the Kratom into water. I haven't really been doing toss and wash um, as much lately. I've realized there's kind of as hard on my digestive system. And so I'm like, okay, well, I'll try just letting it sit in some water and get a little bit smoother uh, feeling. But luckily with the vendors I've been choosing lately, the powder has been very consistent and very good to where the Kratom doesn't taste like shit. And so I waited a few minutes to say that because YouTube doesn't like you to curse in your videos in the first 30 seconds. Um, but yeah, uh, the white definitely, <clears throat> definitely not sedating. Um, I've had some whites that are sedating. Um, it's very high in the euphoria department, um, in the mood lift department. Uh, energy, not so much. Uh, usually, Kratom doesn't give me a lot of energy, but I kind of think that motivation and energy are kind of the same thing. Um, they kind of go hand in hand. Uh, so if I'm, I've never really been motivated, but I'm tired. It's always, I'm motivated, let's get shit done, let's do this, let's do this, okay, let's go and do that. Um, and so it definitely has been working in the motivational department. And I have been in a pretty bad uh, depressive slump, and so uh, their Kratom has definitely been helping me. Um, as a vendor, the owner is very, very nice. Um, I always forget his name, but he's a very nice gentleman. Uh, ships out extremely quickly. Um, their prices are not bad at all. Um, however, they are a members only vendor. And from what I understand, they are accepting new members. So I will be putting that into the description. So go over to their website and be sure to uh, check them out. Um, and like I said, even though this is my favorite Kratom from them, their other options are still pretty good. Um, it's probably the White Mang Daw and the Red Mang Daw. Those two were my favorite. Um, but this review I'm mainly just talking about uh, the White Mang Daw. Um, but the, the Red was still pretty good. Um, and, I mean, all of them were good. Um, I'm just basing it off of how, which one was strongest for me. And anecdotally, this was strongest for me. And I say anecdotally because everything I say in this video is not meant to be taken as medical advice or anything like that. I come on here to just say what I personally like, and if you like it, great. But as everyone knows in the creating community, unless you're new, Kratom is 100% anecdotal. What might work for someone might not work for you. For example, my friend takes Kratom, and it gives him the, cl the, the mind clarity, and um, it feels like coffee to him. For me, it doesn't. Um, as a pain pill addict or an opioid addict, it feels 100% like an opioid for me with a little bit of, um, more motivation and uh, a little bit of energy. Um, but I don't like coffee. It never has given me the feeling of coffee. But what I feel is completely different than what someone else might feel. I've had people say, oh yeah, Kratom feels like morphine to me. It's never felt that strong. Or oh yeah, Kratom knocks me out. I've never gone to sleep on Kratom except maybe once. So everything I say is 100% anecdotal. Kratom is a as a journey of self-discovery. You just have to do trial and error, try and try and try until you find something that works for you. Um, but the goal of this video is to give you a good vendor for you to go check their stuff out and try it. Um, and so I definitely recommend Gulf Coast, um, at least giving them one chance. And as always, I get nothing for these videos. This is 100% my honest opinion. Uh, so yeah, be sure to go check out Gulf Coast. I mean, they're, they really are good. Um, their quality is good and like I said you know they're small batch and if you're uh, a local of Texas you're able to support a local business in your state um, and also I just believe it's very important to be supporting these small batch vendors because they need our help very much right now so yeah I'm gonna give them a five out of five spotlights uh, 
definitely was impressed and uh, definitely go check them out. Thanks guys.